चलिए नाउ कमिंग टू जीनोम द नेक्स्ट थिंग विच इंडिया एंड द वर्ल्ड इज डूइंग इज जीनोम सीक्वेंसिंग जीनोम सीक्वेंसिंग वी अंडरस्टूड वन यूनिट विच इज कॉल्ड डीएनए जीनोम इज द फुल सेट द फुल सेट ऑफ द जेनेटिक मटीरियल राधर देन डी एन ए जनरली इफ यू सर्च वॉट इज जीनोम यूल गेट दिस डेफिनेशन दैट द फुल सेट ऑफ डी एन ए इन द इंडिविजुअल इज कॉल्ड एज जीनोम बट एक्चुअली इट इज द कंप्लीट सेट ऑफ जेनेटिक मटीरियल इन द इंडिविजुअल विच इज कॉल्ड एज जीनोम नाउ डी एन ए सीक्वेंसिंग इज अ प्रोसीजर फॉर डिटरमाइनिंग द लीनियर ऑर्डर ऑफ न्यूक्लियोटाइड बेसिस मेक सेंस लीनियर ऑर्डर sequencing a gene is like reading a book one letter one word at a time all right so mapping out mapping out a person's entire genome code or genome is like reading each of the 3 billion base pairs now tell me is it logical to do genome sequencing or dna sequencing genome sequencing is ek ek cheez khol khol ke padhna what comes under dna material dna material are all the genes your genes are present in your genes are present in dna chromosomes rna it is also present in mitochondria including humans have you heard of something called as three parent baby three parent baby है ना इन थ्री पेरेंट वे बी वी विल सी हाउ दी जेनेटिक मटीरियल फ्रॉम माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया विल कम इन टू पिक्चर ऑल राइट नाउ डू यू रिमेंबर वाई आई टोल्ड यू दैट जीनोम सीक्वेंसिंग इज नॉट डन फॉर जस्टिस डिलीवरी यू डू द डीएनए सीक्वेंसिंग जीनोम सीक्वेंसिंग एक एक चीज एक एक चीज दिस इज गुड फॉर रिसर्च आर एन डी इट इज गुड फॉर डूइंग आर एन डी फॉर एग्जाम्पल ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड Uh, the primitive tribes how they have evolved trying to understand the population of india how they have evolved try to understand the immunity of a, a region for a long term research process what is next generation sequencing next generation sequencing is it is dna sequencing dna sequencing that decodes multiple dna fragments at a same time do you remember i told you in usa and western countries you literally have labs who give you the result of your dna and your ethnic belonging right that is basically next generation sequencing in which it is automated it is automated it is fast it is accurate it is cheap so this is the commercialization of dna sequencing what is it used for the commercialization of DNA sequence. Now uh, coming to the current affairs part, you have two initiatives by India. First one being the Indigen. Indigen. How many of you have heard of this Indigen initiative? These are related to genome sequencing. These are related to genome sequencing. Indigen initiative. So what what are you going to do? You are going to do the complete genome sequencing of Indians. so you have taken 1000 people from the different types of states ethnicities etc and your uh, csir do we know about the organization csir csir who was the important person from csir dr bhatnagar do we know about him ye naam likh liya karo write down these names because when you will be doing the uh, famous personalities in science so apj abdul kalam sara bhai homi jahangir baba they are not going to ask repeatedly all right chaliye so uh, what what is this particular initiative this initiative is by csir what is it doing it is going to do the genome sequencing of the individuals indians how many thousand such people from different types of ethnicities etc why are you doing it you are doing it as the precursor of genome india there is an initiative called genome india all right there was an initiative called earth genome project what was earth genome project in earth genome project anything and everything which is prokaryotes and above and human genome project there are two genome projects one is earth genome project another is human genome project right in human genome project you were uh, sequencing the genomes of all different types of races ethnicities etc 
of each individual from different countries different labs were brought together earth genome project was you were doing the genome sequencing of all the prokaryotes and above so i'm talking about all the species all the arthropods fishes uh, you know uh, all of them and you get an id so now india india has the genome india project india has the genome india project which is going to be uh, the entire genome sequencing of indian population and indigen project is a initiative of that so what are the ministries which are involved here it is the department of biotechnology and it will help in the development of precision medicine personalized medicine for various diseases and increased awareness of genetic disorders next is manav human atlas manav human atlas is uh, very quickly right along with the uh, with the explanation it is again by the department of biotechnology what are you going to do you are going to create a comprehensive map of every tissue of the human body of the human body it seeks to capture the human physiology at the tissue level at the tissue level and basically what are you going to compare at the tissue level how is the tissue when it is healthy or in the natural form and when it is in the diseased form basically three points are more than enough more than enough